sing. Orange, Steve. Are you in the stream? Are we facing you, Steve? Steve, you're in, you're in the chat. Hey, good luck, have fun. <laughs> oh my god, this is the team I reviewed yesterday. Let's just pull that up. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, but... Am I kidding? Am I? Who knows? Who knows? I kind of just want to go... Like this. Yeah, like that. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm kind of scared about the Delmize. We all know that that's like a heat set. I think my last Mon... I can go Zergatry. I could. I'll just go Zergatry. I think I hear typing in the background. <laughs> Okay. Indeedy stack attack 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 attack. Uh I kinda just want my rocks up, low key. Like I don't care. I just I just want these rocks up. I could also eat wave surf and hope that that KOs. Not worth it. You know what? You know what? You know what? Check it. Check it. I don't care. I don't care. I do not care. I have seen other... You might be wondering, Marcos, why did you do this? Do you have some kind of master plan? No. But I've seen other Colossal players do this anyways, and it's always worked out for them. So let's just hope. <laughs> so let's just hope. There's the follow me. It's mostly just the rocks. The rocks are so good. The less of a brain you use with Colossal, the better you play. That is a fact. That is a true fact. Also, there's definitely a Delmize in the back, so this damage just feels good, like, over time. But you're not other Colossal players. You're better. <laughs> There's the Trick Room. Someone can be like in the stream technically, but not be watching. I have faith that he's not watching. I have full faith he's not actually watching. Cause like he could just have the stream muted in a different tab, you know? So here, stack attack a uh, kind of scary, not gonna lie. I'm gonna wisp it. I'm gonna wisp I'm gonna wisp it. Gyro ball, we're not living that. I honestly legitimately forgot if they have uh, Earth Power. They do. Okay. Let me get in my Zerk. I don't think it matters, though. Uh, we live the Earth Power is the thing. Ooh, here's what I can do. Here's what I can do. He's gotta, he's gotta like max the stack if he wants to KO me here. And if I were him, I would also, I would also like eruption. So I can sort of bait him out of clicking both of those options. How many turns of trick room are left? Three turns left to trick room. This might be an idiotic play.
I'm gonna double the Torkoal. You withdraw the Torkoal. All right. A rock slide. Let's go. Colossal takes a lot, don't get me wrong, but... But... This thing, this scary thing right here, it's gone. It's gone. So the obvious Dynamax target now would be the Stack Attacka. We agree on that. More like dead mize. Yeah. How do I do this? There's two turns left to Trick Room, right? Yeah, two turns. I don't believe Protecting lets me live. I kind of need to get a double. I can try, you know. I need to get a double Protect with my Celesteela. There's the Steel Spike, that's gonna go into Coal, which I think lives it. Yeah. And my play is to do that again and hope I get either one of these. I think if I get either one of these, there's a chance to win. Yeah, one or the other. Because the Rock's damage is probably gonna put Torkoal in range of a Heat Wave in the Sun. He wants full damage on that. That's what that's why that's why he um That's why he didn't rock. Because he wants full damage on his <gasps> Celesteela! That's the one I wanted. That's the one I wanted more than anything, really. Max Darkness. I forgot he's got Brutal Swing. Yeah, that was the one I wanted more than anything, to be honest. Stack Attack is going to get a beast boost here, but I think we can kind of pin him down. Mentors turn to normal. Weirdness disappears in the battlefield. In the Zerk. Brutal Swing is to activate the weakness policy on the uh, Delmise. Okay. I think here he doesn't protect the Torkoal. But I can also call that too. I can try to play around that. Uh, because there's still a turn of rocks, right? No, there's not a turn of rocks. I have to double the Torkoal. Dang it. Okay, they didn't protect the Torkoal, so I think I win. Because I get that KO. Thunderbolt's going to do a ton. And then I can start clicking Flash Cannon. That does a good amount. I think he's within Flash Cannon range at plus two. Oh, it's going to be close, because he's, he's, uh, he's got this sand boost now gonna be close he's got the sand boost I think I'm still good this flash cannons neutral
All right, please be enough. Because he doesn't have a special defense boost beyond the sand, right? And I have plus two. I think this is enough. It's going to be really close. Come on, please. Come on. Come on. Yes! Okay! Dude, Steve, that was a really good game. That was a really good game, dude. I love the team, though. Like, the, the weakness policy down my stuff. I love the team. I want to make dumb acronym teams. Obstagoon. Octillery for... I was thinking Octillery, but Octillery's not very good. Someone come up with a good Bofa. Alright, Rindo. Or Rinto. Alright, so... Interesting little team. Uh, probably Scarf on the... Draco. Mainly because usually you see these things with specs next to like a Whimsicott or a Tailwinder. But there's no Tailwinder this team, so I'm going to assume it's Scarf. I feel surprisingly comfortable just doing the thingy. Not that thingy. Doing the Colossal thingy. Yeah, Colossal goes crazy here. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Zerkatry's fine in the back. I think my last mon's got to be the Celesteela. Let's do it. Blastoise, Orangru, Ferrothor, and Arcanine? Maybe. Maybe that's Bofa. DM me on Twitter when you're done with streaming and we can do it. After I'm streaming, I'm going to be dashing on DoorDash. Because, I, because I, I'm because a streamer. I make money from streaming, but I don't make enough, so I have to be a DoorDasher. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, after the stream, I'm going to be busy, but probably like tomorrow night I can definitely... Okay, so we all agree we're hitting the, the Reggie Drago, right? What if it is Scarf Reggie Drago and I just lose? I hope it's not. I just said it was probably I, I just said it was probably Scarf, but I want to hope it's not. It is. Oh God. They're always. I mean, there there's sometimes specs. I've seen a lot of specs. I can hope. I can hope, you know? Have I built around Reggie Drago? I did. I did once. If he Dynamaxes that Reggie Drago, I'll be so happy because that means it can't be Scarf. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we did it. <laughs> He's just trying to live now. He's just trying to live. Nice scarf, loser. Oh my god, what if it's Prankster Thunderous? That thought just hit me considering the other team we faced today. What if it's Prankster Thunderous? And he just scary faces us and we don't even get to hit it. I mean, we're going to outspeed it at plus three, I would assume. Since it's base 80 speed, but... Oh, God. Don't be Thunder Wave. Dear God, he's Prankster. That's fine. That's fine. We still get the damage. We still get some good damage. This is going to do, like, nothing, though, because this thing's got freaking... Absurd HP. Yeah, yeah, it's disappointing. Yikes. Yikes. Max Wormwind. That's going into my Drago. Oh, it's going into Colossal. But he lives. But he lives like the boy. I could Breaking Swipe now. I think my play here is going to be to protect Breaking Swipe for damage. I don't really need Pult to win. My main priority is getting rid of these two. These two goons. Scary face is ideal over Thunder Wave, so I can probably just stay in with Colt. Yep. It's probably just hitting this thing now. Hopefully he doesn't hit the Colt. I'd really love it if he didn't hit the Colt. 
Because then I should be able to KO it next turn. I hit the Pult. He hit the Pult. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go steal here. I'm gonna protect and I'm gonna try to KO that, um... Because Drago isn't very scary at this point. I'm gonna try to KO the Thunderous and protect here on their Eerie Impulse. Hope I'm not too late to the party. Not at all. We still have like a little bit of, a little bit under an hour left in the stream, so. I would assume they would eerie impulse this um Celestila, if not just outright Thunderbolt. Yep. So I should KO this Thundy. Nice. the Wormwind. I'm going to lose my boy, but it shouldn't be the end of the world. I think I can still pull through here. Especially since the max is over. Depends what they brought in the back. Good damage, good damage. I bet you that's in range of lights of uh, Dazzling Gleam now. Kind of wish I brought the Rillaboom instead. What is it? It's Nihiligo. Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't want to get Draco Meteored, I can tell you that much. Hmm. to do this. Definitely need a relay, yeah. Meteor Beam. You can miss. You can miss. And also, this is probably into Celesteela. So I'm assuming they're going to Meteor Beam Draco Meteor. Celesteela should take one Meteor Beam. Yeah, they have to double. Also, I'm faster. Also, I'm faster. Does T-Bolt do enough? Probably not. Dragon Pulse. I live. Okay, wait. Hold on a minute. Please be enough. It's not gonna be, but please be. <laughs> it's not gonna be, but please be enough. <laughs> when the opponent uses Meteor Beam, it never misses, but when you do, it's blah, yeah. Okay. Not the end of the world. Depends what's in the back. It's gotta be slower than my Zerkatry. I mean, the Zerkatry that we built was, like, it's super bulky. It's specifically meant to be like this. It's not meant to be fast. It's just meant to outspeed certain Pokemon. Like, base one... Like, Pokemon that, like, want to creep up to 107 will be speed tying with. But... Ooh, okay, okay. I do get a bit of a defense boost here. I think my play is to go for a double. I'm pretty sure I lose, but I, I think my play here is still to double and hope. Because they're just going to fake out my Zerkatry. I don't get the double. It's whatever. What if they only have Meteor Beam? They don't. They have Power Gem. Yeah, they're smart. Dang, good game. All 
All right, gonna forfeit there. It's got bigger bulk. Maybe that's why I've always failed at making it work in my teams. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't have to be super bulky. I just make it bulky, you know? Like, Zerkatry, all of its stats except for special attack are pretty underwhelming. Which is why I said, like, okay, well, it's gonna be able to Dynamax, so I can just buff its bulk and run, like, you know, a Grassy Seed and Calm Mind and just be done with it, pretty much. Like, it lives a lot of cool things. It lives a lot of cool things. And apparently yesterday, uh, my buddy Fu on YouTube went ahead and calced it. The Max Geyser from Kingdra was a roll on Zerkatry, apparently. Which I didn't believe at first. And I have to double check, but I feel like it's not. Uh, Zergatry goes insane here. Speaking of which. But also, Colossal generally just goes insane and it's safer. I can bring Zerk in the back though, it'll be fine. I think my last Mon's gonna be the Celesteela. And we'll do that. Yeah. I really hope they just lead off Salamence and not P2, and that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, if it's Bulldoze Salamence, I still definitely just win. <laughs> if they go Salamence Metagross, I just max Flare and it's done. I also could just go into Celesteela and burn the Metagross. That's another option. Actually, it wouldn't matter if it's Scarf Bulldoze. It wouldn't matter. Because what would end up happening is my Dragapult wouldn't get its speed lowered, and then Colossal gets boosted to plus six, so it wouldn't matter, yeah. <laughs> Have a nice night, Sparkling Pika. All right. Before you got to Sylvia, no matter, no matter, no matter. Uh, how do I do this? He's just gonna set up the trick room. I could attempt to stop the trick room, it's just not gonna work out. I kinda wish I went Zerk, Rillaboom. That would have been really clean here. I think I'm just going to hit it anyways. I think I'm just going to do it. Because it worked out last time. Remember when I said other Colossal players do this, so I might as well do it? You know, when you're facing a Trick Room lead and you just ignore the fact that it's a Trick Room lead and go fast mode anyways. It works for other Colossal players, so it might as well work for me. I believe getting taunted would double stomping tantrum. Check it, I'm gonna crit. Yo, I think it goes down after the rocks. There's the yawn. Do I care? Or do I just stay in like last time? Guys, it works for other Colossal players, so why wouldn't it work for me? Tell me, if it works for other Colossal players, why wouldn't it work for me? <laughs> you just ignore the Trick Room, and it just works out. <laughs> That's how Colossal goes. Okay, so if I were him, if I were him, I would just protect the Metagross. But I'm not him, 
But also, do I care? No, no, because I just burn it next turn. So my main priority is removing Sylveon from play entirely. I'm going to max Flare to do that, in fact. I believe that'll KO. Eh, I should probably play it safe. Max Vocalist. I want to play it safe. And I'll go for the Will-O-Wisp. And he should protect the Metagross. Don't get me wrong. Like, I should be attacking it, but I'm predicting a Protect. It seems pretty obvious. Max Guard, I mean. If they just attack me right now, I'm going to be real upset. Because it doesn't make sense. Especially if I miss my Will-O-Wisp. I should definitely hit my Will-O-Wisp here. Okay, good. Good. Give me your Sylveon. Sylveon privileges have been revoked. Thank you. And Colossal may be going to sleep here, but who's really in the driver's seat? I just revealed Will-O-Wisp. Who's really in the driver's seat here? And you're taking damage. And I think they would have to go ahead and quake this Colossal if they want to be safe. If not this turn. No, it would have to be this turn, because this can be the only turn I'm, like, asleep. I have opportunities to wake up here. Let me try to flare. I'm not going to wake up this turn, obviously. But if I land this Will-O-Wisp, which I should, I deserve it. This is a well-deserved Will-O-Wisp. I've been playing very good today. <laughs> there we go. Then I don't think I lose. The nasty plot. That's a bit greedy, don't you think? It's a bit greedy. And they quake. I wonder if I live this. Yeah, I live that. Yeah. <laughs> what? How? What? I didn't think I would live it. I was being hopeful. That was very hopeful. I didn't think I would live that. I guess it's because there's no policy activated on this guy. He's got, like, no output right now. Yowza. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay, I click Heat Wave, right? Do I have the tools to beat Rotom? I probably do. I could Surf again, but I'm not, <laughs> I'm not that crazy. I'm going to try to Phantom Force Rotom, because I'm more scared of Rotom than anything. Colossal, could you wake up this turn? That'd be pretty cool. Come on, Colossal, wake up this turn. It's mostly Rotom that's a threat. I don't have too much to deal with it. Especially if my uh I stays asleep. Especially if my Dragapult goes down too early, I don't I don't have that much. It'd be really funny to see them like get really greedy here. They Thunderbolt. That's fine. Uh, my play this next turn is to bait out a, an Overheat. So I'm going to Meteor Beam there. I'm going to Meteor Beam there, Rotom. At the very least, I think Phantom Force into my Rocks will do it. And then Zergatry can come in. Because that Metagross is taking a lot. Bellas, Bela. Hopefully I'm faster. I'm 108. Most Rotom only really hit like 107 to outspeed Dragapult at plus 2. So I think at 108 I'm going to outspeed. Thanks for the follow, Warwick. Or just straight up KO, that too. <laughs> I wonder if I would have outsped. I think I would have. Most most Rotom aren't that fast. Hey, flying. I don't want to say that that second part. I can call you flying. Thanks for the subscription. Let me know how you pronounce that in uh, in chat. There's a GG in it. Flying Hirsch. GG. 
Where the Eerie Impulse Quagsire is at? Good question. Hey, we already know who gets the winning KO. As always. As always, this guy gets the winning KO. Let's go ahead and Flash Cannon and a Thunderbolt, and that'll do it. Meteor Beam plus Herb is pretty much a Z-Crystal. Yeah, it pretty much is. And Zerkatry. Nice. That was a very solid game. That was a very solid game. Rushil. Alright. Uh, this guy really, really doesn't like Colossal. He really doesn't. I think I just play into that really hard. Ooh, do I bring my... I think I bring Urshifu. Yeah, we'll do Urshifu. Alright. Trying to get in the top 1k. With, with freaking uh, Zergatry. What should I add to the Bofa team? I really don't know what a good O Pokemon is. A Pokemon that starts with O. Can't think of one, really. What's the old rank looking like? We were at like 1,100 something, and then we lost the last one. Dang, I really wish I just let off with Zerk. Every time I want to, like, use coal, it's, it's Zerk that ends up being better. Alright, let's just go for it. <laughs> let's just do the thing. Remember, it always works out. Other Colossal players just activate it anyways, and it always works out for them, so it's gonna work out for me. The last two times I've tried that, it has. His colossal rocks are broken. Dang, I really wish I brought Zergatry now. Really wish I brought the Zergatry. Light screen, yep. Makes sense. I just have to crit. It's easy. Just gotta crit. Easy win. Okay. So that thing's probably just gonna want to go for a uh, recover next turn. It's probably just going to recover. Actually, do I eventually KO that thing? I think I just kind of eventually KO that thing just by laying into it. But I believe I have to go for a flare and then another flare. They're probably going to spirit break me, but it's whatever. Yeah, they could also eerie impulse, but it won't. But then I just KO them. They just give me their Porygon too, which I don't think they do. Yep. Spirit break, that's whatever. Good rocks damage. Max guard here. I think I max guard. And then flash cannon into rocks will KO this thing. They're probably just gonna recover again. I don't think they have your impulse. I hope they don't at least. Yeah. 
When facing coal, you never have high HP. Exactly. Alright, I should take their their boy from them now. And I've wasted a couple of turns at Trick Room. Kind of wish I just got that KO. Heat train comes in. Yep. And it's just going to click Heat Wave. Or even just a Max Flare. Which makes me want to... I definitely need to wait for the Sun to run out. Two turns left to Trick Room. One turn left to Volcalith. Yeah. Uh, I need Celesteela to beat that Porygon too, I think. I'm just going to go ahead and Meteor Beam this Heatran for damage. And I'm going to go Dragapult here. And if they Earth Power my Colossal, so be it. Hey, Dynamax. I would assume here they would maybe Eerie Impulse the Celesteela and go for a Max Quake. They do have Ice Beam. Going into my Coal, surprisingly. And they Quake. Alright, that's fine. They take their little Rocks damage. Here I get in my Urshifu for sure. And they got a double into me, which means they're not gonna... Because they should know I'm Focus Sash. They're gonna double into me, which means they're not gonna get to recover. So I'll detect here. And... I'll just go for Breaking Swipe damage. That's my best damage versus P2. At least they shouldn't recover. Yeah. Rillaboom. That's fine, actually. Because I get this breaking swipe. And I think I take whatever the, the Heatran wants to go for. Yep. Ooh, that was close. Okay. That was actually a lot more damage than I was comfortable with. I need to get a burn on this Rillaboom. Or maybe, if the... If the sun runs out, which it doesn't. Get my Celesteela here. Go for a burn on the Rillaboom. I think that's my play. Because I think they double into my... They should double into my Urshifu here, maybe. I don't know if I'm within range of Grassy Glide. Depends on their item, probably. But they never go for a fire move into this. Yep, that does like nothing. Can I connect my burn, please? Yes. When that camera changes, you know you connected. Hopefully they didn't call the switch. If they call the switch, it could be really close. Max, they called it. Yeah, they called it. 
Oh, this is gonna be a little bit. This is gonna be a little bit rough. This is gonna be a little bit rough. I might be able to do this though. Because Grassy Glide really doesn't do that much at this point, not at like this range. Etran should be very scared of a surging strikes. But I don't believe Porygon comes in very safely either. I think my play. If I detect here and they get in the Porygon too, I think I lose. No, if I detect here and they get in the Porygon too, I think I win. But if they attack my Dragapult, I lose. I'm just gonna go for it. Okay, cool. They just grassy glide. They make a very they make a very bad play there, I think. I think I just win. Surging strikes might KO. It's going to be really close. Depends how they built this thing. We all know Urshifu's damage output is underwhelming. Oh, please somehow. Some I think we do. I think we KO. I think we win, yeah. I think that's a win. Pretty sure that's a win. Because Porygon doesn't carry Protect, and that Rillaboom needs to crit. And I still have a Sash. How's Zergatry going? Zergatry's going pretty good. Pretty sure close combat into breaking swipe does it. That doesn't do much, yeah. Come on, I need this KO. There's no way Urshifu doesn't do like 40%, right? Nice, yeah, we win. Awesome. That was a very close, that was a very intense game. Yeah, I think light screen's gone. I think my play here is just to play it safe, I detect. And I'll Phantom Force. And then Phantom Force into close combat will do it. Because their grassy terrain ends next turn. I think. There are two unprotectable moves going into the next turn. I wonder how that feels for Rillaboom. They can't protect from either of these moves. And I believe terrain's gone. I wasn't counting, but it feels right. Yeah. And I close combat, and that'll that'll seal the deal. Rillaboom should be very scared. Yeah, they just forfeit. They know. Cool. I'm going to update my rank. Let's see if we hit top 1,000 finally. I haven't done that in a few seasons, just because I, like, didn't play enough. But this season, I'm really liking the format. I really like what the meta's become.